So how much do you bench? It's one of the classic questions that get asked in fitness circles, but have you ever wondered why? In this video, we'll learn that there's actually a deeper underlying evolutionary mechanism why especially men ask each other how much they bench. And understanding and exploiting that mechanism can give you a drastically improved life quality even if you're not a bodybuilder or a gym rat. So stick around to the end of this video because the information presented here is quite new and groundbreaking. For those that are new here, hi, I'm Florian, founder of Fit Vegans, the best online vegan fitness coaching service in my humble opinion. So let's just dive right in. To understand why especially men ask each other how much they bench, we have to look at what differentiates men from women. It's clearly obvious that men are predominantly the violent one of the two genders. Of all homicides committed between 1965 to 1980 in Chicago, 86% were committed by men. Of these, 80% of the victims were also men. The authors of this study wrote, Indeed, there's no evidence that the women in any society have ever approached the level of violent conflict prevailing among men in the same society. Now, there's a multitude of downsides to physical conflict. Jail time, injuries you have to recover from, potential death, bad karma, you name it. So men have evolved mechanism to gosh whether or not physical conflict makes sense in the first place. So before men fight, they look at each other and see if they even have a chance to win. Researchers call this formidability assessment mechanisms. Eye-tracking studies reveal that people, especially men, rapidly and spontaneously assess the upper body strength of other men. You probably already did it during this video. The correlation between a man's upper body strength and judgments of his fighting ability is huge. The more body strength you have, the higher the chances that people think you will beat them up if it ever comes to physical conflict. But why does this all matter? Humans have evolved in groups and needed others to survive and reproduce. And whenever you have a group of animals and limited resources, you get a hierarchy. Meaning you will get people with higher status and you get people with lower status. We see this in children as early as 3 years of age. They organize themselves in dominance hierarchies. Although humans might have the most complex dominance hierarchies in the animal kingdom, social skills, competency and access to financial resources all play a role. Size and strength still remain crucially important. Studies show that physically strong individuals are more likely to attain positions of status within an organization, even though physical strength is not even relevant to any of the business tasks. So we've seen so far that upper body strength is an indicator of one's fighting ability and therefore goes along with status, respect and prestige in dominance hierarchies. Generally, the more upper body strength you have as a man, the more you are respected and the higher your social status is in the group from the get-go. Go. And that, my friend, is where the question of how much you bench comes in. Realize that it's not how much you squat, how much you curl, how much weight you use at the unilateral calf press, it is how much you bench. And again, it's no coincidence that the muscles you train at the bench press are the muscles you use for a punch or you use to swing a club or an axe in ancient times. So the how much you bench question is unconsciously used by men to gauge the status of an ally or competitor. So the question is actually not, so how much you bench, it is, so how high is your status and how much attention should I pay to you? Yes, we might live in modern times, but deep down we're still the Stone Age folks of 10,000 years ago. So why does this all matter to you? Whether you like it or not, no person is an island and your social status matters. People in low status positions have higher levels of inflammation, higher levels of all-cause mortality, meaning higher chances of dying from any reason, and higher risk of depression. Generally, the lower status you are, the less money you earn, the less likely you are happy with your relationship, the less likely others are to treat you well, and generally, the lower quality your life is. So increasing your upper body strength and working out regularly is the best easiest, most cost-effective ways you can do right now to increase your social status and feel better about yourself. So what is preventing you from doing this? Let's get to work. 
If you like this video, then don't forget to smash the like button. And do you want to see more videos like this? I can do a whole series of upper body strength, bench press and fighting ability, but I only do so if there's enough interest. So if you're interested in that, leave a comment and subscribe to this channel. Last thing, if you want to increase your social status by increasing your upper body strength and you're a fellow vegan, then why don't you schedule a free call with yours truly or one of my executive coaches by clicking the link below in the description or in the first comment. We help vegans get in shape in the quickest way possible while also making it sustainable and we've worked with 300 plus vegans from over 24 countries. So see you next time and maybe talk to you soon.